Boron is a mineral. It's a really important mineral. It does very important, powerful things for the human body. It's rather obscure. It's not very well known, maybe not very well understood by the general public, but it's required for bone strength and keeping your teeth healthy. It's a micronutrient, a micro mineral, meaning you just need very small amounts for maintaining good health. So welcome to our Boron is Needed for Strong Bones and Teeth episode. Hi, my name is Jerry Hickey. I'm a licensed pharmacist who also has studied nutrition. I'm over here at Invite Health. I'm also the scientific director, and I'd like to talk to you today about this obscure micronutrient, Boron. It's found in food and bone building supplements, and it's required to prevent bone loss. Please be sure to subscribe to our Invite Health podcast and please leave us a review. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Invite Health. And all of the information on today's episode will be linked in the episode description and you can visit invitehealth.com forward slash podcast for more information. So let's get going. Boron does many things for the human body. You need boron for wound healing, otherwise wounds heal at a very slow rate. Uh, It possibly helps balance hormones, but we need more data on that. Uh, It has cancer-preventing effects. I mean, this is pretty good data on some major cancers like colon cancer and pancreatic cancer. Uh, In fact, sometimes when you look at the data, it seems the two strongest natural cancer-preventing nutrients are the mineral boron, that you need in tiny amounts, and vitamin B3. In fact, they interact. Boron interacts with vitamin B3, which is called niacin or niacinamide, to create a very important element that's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory agent in the human body that slows down aging that is involved with creating energy called NAD+. Boron is also needed to create SAMI. There's a super SAMI family of many enzymes. SAMI is needed for joint cartilage and joint health. SAMI is needed for liver health. And SAMI is needed to uh, balance your mood. Without SAMI, you can get very depressed. In fact, the supplement SAMI is often used for depression. Uh, Some very healthy foods supply boron. But you'd have to eat a lot of them. Walnuts and almonds and other tree nuts. Beans and lentils and other legumes broccoli and olives and avocados, carrots and pears and apples and oranges. It's a very important nutrient. A little bit, a milligram or two added to a bone supplement is a very good idea. It's plenty and it's very safe. A metric is something measurable. Many of the metrics involved with bone strength maintaining bone, remodeling bone, in other words, breaking down old bone and replacing it with new, healthy, strong bone, is based on boron. Before we go into uh, the effects of boron, let's just talk a little bit about bone. You have about 10 pounds of bone on average in the human body. Uh, You remodel about 10% of it per year, so you remove and replace about a pound of bone throughout the whole structure. Um, when you're young, you're removing bone and you're replacing it at the same rate. So you maintain strong, healthy bones. There's an interplay between vitamins, minerals, hormones, and other nutrients to build strong bones. For instance, collagen. Vitamin C, when you're young, interacts with protein and you create collagen. Collagen is a structural protein. About 35% of your body is made out of collagen, mostly type 1 collagen. And a large part of your bone structure is made out of collagen, about 35%. Collagen makes the framework of bone. It's called a superstructure, the matrix. 90% of the matrix of your bone is made out of collagen. Vitamin D and vitamin K and the mineral silica interact with collagen to make receptor sites for minerals like calcium and phosphorus. Receptor sites are where the minerals attach to the collagen. So collagen creates tens of thousands of these really tough, stretchy cables, and that serves two, two purposes. It's the platform for minerals to attach to to create bone crystals, to create bone, but it also gives bone its shock absorption capacity so that if you fall down and you hit your forearm, forearm on cement, on concrete, it doesn't shatter, it absorbs the shock. 
So the vitamin D, the vitamin K, and the silica interact with the collagen and create uh, docking sites for calcium and phosphorus. Then vitamin D allows you to absorb calcium from your food and from supplements, bone supplements, and phosphorus also. The vitamin D helps keep it available for the bone. It's the vitamin K that activates enzymes like matrix GLA protein and osteocalcin to actually attach the calcium into the bone, to shove the calcium into the bone. And then the mineral magnesium holds this all together. Um, your bones weigh about 10 pounds, only about less than an ounce is magnesium, but it's, it's super critical to bones because it's the, it's the factor that glues your bones together, that holds the calcium into the bone. All of these events are dependent on boron. Every one of these events is dependent on boron. Boron is super critical for removing old bone and replacing it with new, tough, strong, shock-absorbing bone that can withstand a fracture to help prevent osteopenia, some bone loss, to help prevent osteoporosis, severe, dangerous bone loss. Before we go any deeper into this, let's take a quick break. You're listening to uh, Boron is Needed for Strong Bones and Teeth, the episode. Uh, we're talking about boron. My name is Jerry Hickey. I'm a pharmacist nutritionist. This is an Invite Health Podcast. I'll be right back. This podcast is brought to you by invitehealth.com. For over 20 years, Invite Health has provided premium quality supplements and expert advice you can trust. Now, first-time customers can enjoy an exclusive offer. Visit invitehealth.com slash podcast or click the link in this episode description. That's invitehealth.com slash podcast for your exclusive offer on Invite Health products. Invite Health offers the resources you need to make important decisions about your health. Chat live with degreed healthcare professionals, get product information, and find retail locations near you at invitehealth.com. You can also learn about our new genetic testing program and our exclusive Invite Fitness Wellness Program. Follow Invite Health on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and be sure to subscribe to our podcast today. Now back to our episode. Okay, welcome to back to our podcast, Boron is Needed for Strong Bones and Teeth. My name is Jerry Hickey. I'm a pharmacist nutritionist. I'm the uh, uh, chief scientific officer over here at Invite Health which means we have a scientific department, which we do. We have nat many naturopathic doctors. We have doctor nutritionists, you know, from medical school. We have pharmacist nutritionists. Uh, we have um, dietitians and naturopaths um, and um, certified clinical nutritionists. And we all work together to share this info and to update our info and to keep abreast of all these um, points for good health when it comes to nutrition. So let's get back to uh, boron. And first, let's talk about vitamin D. Normally, the sun interacts with healthy skin. It interacts with the uh, cholesterol. The ultraviolet radiation from the sun uh, changes the cholesterol into a precursor, which will eventually become vitamin D. It's called 25-hydroxycholecalciferol. This goes to the liver, and it's stored in the liver. And the liver releases it in a steady state manner, and it goes to the kidneys, and it's activated. There it becomes 125-dihydroxycholecalciferol. That's the vitamin D that's involved with the strength of your bones, the health of your teeth, heart health, metabolic health, immune health, and so on and so forth. So it has to be activated before it can help your bones. You need two minerals to activate it, the mineral magnesium and the mineral boron. There's evidence indicates that boron is needed to activate vitamin D, which in turn helps regulate the absorption and utilization of important minerals, such as calcium and phosphorus. These are major components of bone. In a review, not only is boron needed to activate vitamin D uh, and to absorb and utilize phosphorus and calcium, but boron also affects the absorption of min uh, the mineral magnesium. So your entire skeleton weighs on average 10 pounds. These factors make it the calcium, 
the phosphorus, the magnesium, the vitamin D, important components. Now, I mentioned at the start of this episode many of the uh, measurable influences on bone remodeling, removing old bone and replacing it with new strong bone is dependent on boron. The military, when it does research, is very serious about research. There's no bones about it. That's a pun. They do great research, very non-biased research. So this is the Military Performance Division, United States Army Research Institute of Environmental Medicine. It was published in March 2019 in the journal Biological Trace Element Research. Boron is required for the survival of bone cells. You know, your bone cells have to last a certain amount of time. But this is really interesting. Boron connects the organic matrix of bone, which is mostly collagen, with osteoblasts. Now, that's unbelievable. 35% of your bone is made out of collagen. That's the superstructure of the bone. It's called the organic matrix. 90% of the organic matrix is directly made out of collagen. Boron interacts with the collagen and bone-building cells called osteoblasts to attach minerals to collagen to actually make bone. This is a very important finding. The research found the following. Boron affects osteopontin. Now, you probably never heard of this before. Osteopontin is the link between the bone matrix, which, which is the framework of the bone, the foundation of bone, and minerals like calcium and phosphorus and magnesium. In other words, osteopontin strongly bonds calcium and phosphorus into the collagen protein to make bone. This happens in your bone and your teeth. Boron is also important for something called bone cialoprotein, another very important element in bone. Bone cialoprotein mixes with collagen protein to bond calcium into the bone. It's like the cement. 90% of the bone matrix is this type 1 collagen. The other 10% is bone sialoprotein, bone sialoprotein, and the interaction of collagen with bone-building cells called osteoblasts and with the minerals to make bone is all dependent on boron. And there's another step. It's called osteocalcin. Osteocalcin is found within the bone-building cells called osteoblasts. These cells bind calcium into the bone. So boron is needed for absorbing minerals into bone and securing their bonding into the bone and making the bone strong and fracture resistant. In other words, it's one of the answers to help prevent bone loss uh, throughout your, life, your lifetime, your lifespan. A study of postmenopausal women in their 50s shows that boron is strongly connected with osteocalcin. It improves osteocalcin activity for building and strengthening bone. In other words, the bone building cells osteoblasts have osteocalcin within them and the osteocalcin sucks the calcium out of the blood into the bone and secures it into the bone but they also found that you need to consume boron on a daily basis to help maintain this function it's in the journal of trace elements and medicine and biology so to sum up Boron is needed to activate vitamin D, a major player for bone health and the absorption of calcium and phosphorus from your food and keeping it available to build bone. Boron is needed to absorb and utilize calcium and phosphorus and bind the calcium and phosphorus into the bone via actions on the mineral magnesium and bone building elements. You need about three milligrams of boron a day and it is very safe. So thank you for tuning into the invite health podcast you can find all of our episodes for free wherever you listen to podcasts or by visiting invitehealth.com please subscribe and leave us a review you can follow us on twitter instagram and facebook at invite health hope to see you next time on another episode of the invite health podcast and thank you so much for listening mm-hmm.